Exactly this noise and shouting is happening to our wireless communications. Mobile phones, our Wi-Fi at home, Bluetooth, autonomous cars to mention a few. More and more things are getting connected wirelessly and it's getting noisy out there. And when it gets noisy, the general solutions always mean to crank up the volume. Yes, as I did with my voice. But that doesn't really help. Because soon enough, everyone starts cranking up their volume. And wireless communication that we take for granted is becoming a challenge. But to understand why, we first need to understand the frequency spectrum. You are just now witnessing the passion of my life. A frequency, a pure sinusoidal, a pure 440 hertz sinusoidal. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Did I say passion of my life? I just love them frequencies. And for doing so, some people call me a nerd, a geek even. I am absolutely not. I am the freaking chief nerd frequency geek, and I am proud of it. <laughs> but what I find the most beautiful with these frequencies is that they are the very foundation of all our communications in the world. They are a necessity for our modern life. And I claim that they are one of our most precious natural resources. And me communicating with my voice here is just me using my full spectrum of frequencies. And you know what? There are other frequencies. Our frequency spectrum. Beautiful, isn't it? Here you find all the frequencies that we have. Like the visible light, the colors of light. And there is a portion of this frequency spectrum of frequencies that you cannot see and you cannot hear them. I call them our visible frequencies. And boy, these ones are the one that I love the most. We use them for wireless communications. Wireless communications, that is a necessity for our modern life. And I even claim that these frequencies will be essential in making the world a better place. Why? Let me tell you a story about internet and what is yet to come. In the beginning, there was darkness. Well, there is no internet. <laughs> but in 1969, a group of really smart people come up with this great idea called ARPANET. And a few computers could connect even at great distances. And soon enough, more and more computers got connected and we started calling it Internet. And we got Mosaic and other modern web browsers. And Internet connectivity was booming. And when every computer on the Earth was connected, we said, well, that's it. How wrong we were. January 9, 2007, this visionary man was standing on a stage saying, today, I show you a device that combines a music player a phone and an internet communicator. And the smartphone was born, and internet connectivity was booming once again, and this time it was all wireless. And here we are at 2016. Does it stop here, you think? Absolutely not. We are at the very beginning of a new era called Internet of Things. And by 2020, the prediction says that more than 40 billion units going to be connected. And Internet of Things is great! So what is Internet of Things? And why is it important? Well, let me tell you. Bed sores are very, very painful and very hard to cure. But imagine if all beds 
in a hospital were connected with sensors, then data could be gathered, we could analyze, we could predict. We would know bad sores happen even before they did. No more pain and no more hopeless cures. The French city of Nice has 300,000 citizens, but in summertime, more than 4 million people are visiting Nice. The traffic situation was, of course, a mess. Constant rush hours. But by connecting smart sensors to the parking lots, a 35% reduction of air pollution was made because no one had to drive around anymore to find a parking lot. An easy solution. Internet of Things is great. Internet of Things will help us make a better world. And my best friends, the frequencies, they are the true heroes that make this happen. And I call it connectivity for a better world. But when Internet of Things is taking off, all this noise and shouting is going to be even louder. And unfortunately, we treat the frequency spectrum much as we did with oil in, in the 70s. Buy that big car with that huge fuel thirsty engine. Just pump some more oil and all the problems will go away. <laughs> Yell louder and more often and the messages will get through. Unfortunately, the frequency spectrum doesn't work that way. Once it gets too crowded, everybody starts losing. We must start using the frequencies more efficiently. And for the Internet of Things to happen, they must, starting, you must use them more efficiently. So how do we use the frequency today then? How do we use them? Quite inefficiently. Ever try to make a call on New Year's Eve or send a text? This is what's happened. So how do we use the frequency today then? I bring before you the spectrum of my best friend. Well, this is the US spectrum of how to use frequencies, the regulated use. And the problem with this picture, this situation, is that it's static. In this blurry picture, I, I couldn't imagine you can see anything here, but in this blurry pictures, you have thousands of technologies that get their small frequency spaces statically assigned. And the sweet spot for communication is this, this area. And here you will find mobile phones, your Wi-Fi at home, Bluetooth, autonomous cars, and military. And this is the problem. Although that they are not using your frequencies, no one else is allowed to use it. As long as there's no war, the military doesn't use their frequencies that much. So why should a huge chunk be assigned statically to the military? Billions of billions of dollars are paid by the mobile phone operators just to get access to few frequencies within their small frequency spectrums. They are fighting for it. And still, you couldn't do that call on New Year's Eve. Internet of Things must happen. But the plan is to deploy it on a few scarce frequencies that are already busy. Give me a break here. We are running out of frequencies. And when they run out, we cannot just make more of them. When they run out, they run out. So can we use them more efficiently then? Can we solve it? But of course we can. 
I decided to do something about it. I devoted my life in trying to find that solution. And you know what? This solution is really, really easy to understand. Although the technology behind it was a little bit of a challenge, I must admit. But listen to this, it's really easy. Only use frequencies when they are not busy. Easy as that. And it works. It works even for the, for the scarce IoT frequencies. You know, like, if someone is yelling and shouting over there, let's move to a nice and quiet place and communicate here. Easy as that. But we need to do it on a larger scale. We need to do it on a full frequency spectrum. And the frequency, uh, frequency assignment authorities in the world, they need to make that decision to break up this static situation. And it's not complicated to do that. Every single country can do that decision by themselves. And I state, every country doing so, they will improve the life of their citizens. They will contribute in making the world becoming a better place. And please help me. Don't adapt. Keep pushing. Do that call on New Year's Eve. Do social media even more. Connect to work from home whenever you can and cut down on commuting. Make your home smart. Connect sensors because a smart home can use energy in a smart way and you will contribute. And together we can show the decision makers that we have a situation here. But the solution is just a decision away. And then we can prevent the bad source from happening. Smart connected variable sensors can read you biometrics and we will know about diseases before they happen. Safety in city can be improved. Connected microphones can identify cry for help. Connected autonomous cars can make the vision of zero car accidents come through. And we have seen in this that the smart guidance can cut air pollution and we can make fossil fuels be even more reduced. The food production chain can be optimized and food waste could be nearly non-existent. We can make the modern world become even better for all of us on this globe. Cognitivity can contribute in making the resources on the globe more sustainable, usable. We wouldn't need 1.6 globe to support the citizens of one globe. The Earth of Vishut Day would be a memory from the past. That is why I call it connectivity for a better world.